A thief targets an exotic pet shop in Livonia, stealing thousands of dollars worth of reptiles. Sean Lay joins us live, and Sean, most of the reptiles taken were for sale, but the thief also took the shop owner's personal pets. That They must be devastated. They're absolutely devastated. Two reptiles that are very close pets, more than 18 other reptiles that are like family to these shop owners, all stuffed in a bag after someone threw a rock about this size right to the front door. This is more than a business to us. Um, we treat the animals as if they're our own. Hazel Bunting and her mother Jackie are in tears today. The tanks at their shop, Stinger's Exotics in Livonia, are empty after more than 20 expensive reptiles were stolen. The two opened the shop as something they could do together after Jackie's husband passed away. Today, as they're trying to get back to normal, they're grieving again. It's heartbreaking because we cry and then we clean and then we, you know, then we look in the empty cages and we're heartbroken. Heartbreak that is all caught on camera after one Monday morning. This man is in their shop. He switches on a light headband and he can be seen stuffing 20 reptiles worth $5,000 into a sack. He took a Savannah monitor 30 inches long and if he knew anything about reptiles, you wouldn't chuck them into a bag of bearded dragons some of the bearded dragons could have been eaten. Also taken their personal pets, bearded dragons, Betty and Ace, loyal customers letting them know that they care. They, you know, grab us and hug us and um, they feel our pain. Feel our pain and they're grieving too. Mm -hmm. Here live. Let's try to help these shop owners and Livonia police out. I want to direct your attention right back to that security camera video. This guy had a hoodie on. He had a mask on. You can see a bit of his face, but look at this. The shoes, they really stand out to detectives and the shop owners. Black shoes there with those distinctive white soles. They may help identify this guy. Someone out there, Kimberly, may know who this guy is just based on the shoes alone. Back to you. So sad and Sean, but it sounds like the shop's customers are helping to look for the stolen reptiles at least. Loyal customers, they love this mother and daughter combination. They love the reptiles there as well. They are uh, checking out Craigslist and other online ads to see if these reptiles are being stolen. Uh, they posted this on Facebook today about the theft. Kimberly, more than 25,000 people have seen it and responded yeah. to it. It's a big deal. It's probably a good idea, too, if somebody tries to sell you a reptile, that, that should send up a red, red flag there that it could be one of Correct. these guys. All right, Sean, That's we right. appreciate it.